friend of the show. Well, not really, but I wish one day. Paolo and a bullet train. Shinkansen bullet train service is made in Japan. All right, y'all, I'm back with another Made in Japan, and this time I get to show you how train service is truly made in Japan. And the people at JR Tokai have given me access to this place. I already did one on their factory and now we're here in Oikichi, Tokyo. So I'm super excited for this one. But if you guys want to see what I'm doing on the daily, definitely check out my Instagram account. If you want to help support the channel, then check out. Bro, I want to see where they're pooping. Okay, I want to see the bathrooms in the Shinkansen. My Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out my Discord community. All right, let's go do this. So here we go again. This one is for my Japan train lovers as we're at the JR Tokai Okichi Shinkansen Bullet Train Depot where routine train inspections and repairs take place. And yup, I'm the first YouTube content creator to visit this spot too. Dating back to 1964, Let's JR go. Tokai Shinkansen has been safely transporting passengers between Osaka and Tokyo, resulting in the busiest train line in Japan. And all this wouldn't be possible without the Oikichi Shinkansen Train Depot, ensuring that every single train is operating at peak oh. performance in all requiring 1400 skilled jr tokai workers. oh look how they're cleaning that bad boy all happen and i'm taking Ooh. you inside to show you how even their regular train maintenance and service uniquely earns a spot in my made in japan series so if you guys saw the last video you guys might have noticed that i had some issues with my glasses and fogging but this time we've upgraded check this out there you go, built-in helmet goggles. Let's do this. King. Now that I've got my goat hat on, let's do this to this. This is pretty amazing. Look at all of these trains. I never thought I'd be this close to this many Shinkansen trains. And to be clear, this place is quite different from my previous video on the JR Hamamatsu train factory where they perform complete annual overhaul inspections. While at this train depot, they perform more routine inspections and maintenance as frequently as every two days. So I've made it just above the trains and look, there's some guys over there. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, that's the pantograph. It collects power for the train when it makes contact with the overhead electrical line. Each Shinkansen has two of them mounted on its roof. Critical components to keep the train powered so it must be inspected thoroughly. <laughs> Oh, and this maintenance itself requires two skilled workers, one repeating the other's inspection to ensure that there are no mistakes. Okay, I think they should limit that to one. That's redundancy. Uh, immediately, I'm putting my McKinsey hat on and seeing that that's a redundancy that could be eliminated. There's no reason for uh, double the amount of quality control. Have you thought about how much more quality control you could do with just one person? Uh, no, that's not going to work for me. Okay. That's two people with benefits packages. Not going to work out. Cool. I guess they're performing a torque inspection on all the bolts right now. And the part which directly makes contact with the electrical wire generates so much friction that it needs to be replaced regularly. Excuse me. What are you doing? Nice, so it's possible for the train to run without the pantograph? Ah, how much electricity runs through the lines? And what do you like most about this job? Thanks. Wow, everyone here is so busy at work. Let's go ask what that guy's doing over there. Hi, what's going down here? Oh, how long have you been doing this job? So what was the toughest part when you first started? Thanks. So this section is where the undercarriages are routinely inspected. There are a hundred total items that need to be checked by the workers, such as the wheels, axles, and brake systems. Wow, check out all the marks everywhere. Looks like a bad day for a school essay. But for this Shikansen, it means that each specific part has passed inspection. Huh, 
There's some stairs over here. Let's see where it goes. Dude, it's so clean. It's like insane. I'm going, I'm losing my mind. Oh, I think I've stumbled into their skills training room. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, what's got you all twisted? Interesting. So how often do you need to do this type of skills training? Ah, uh, I see. So do you need to pass a test or something to work on your own? Okay. Have you ever failed the test? Got it. And what's been the most challenging for you in the training? Cool. Can I try? So apparently, if you hit them, it's going to actually be a different sound. So I think this one is loose right here. Wow, the noise is completely different. Every year, all new hired workers must undergo one month of training here and completely pass the in-house skills test before they're allowed to work on the Shinkansen. Makes sense considering that 450,000 passengers every day ride this bullet train. So safety in all respects is paramount to its operation. So before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I'm just saying, uh, all I'm seeing is uh, everyone avoiding cost efficient, uh, you know, cost prevention uh, methods here. Way too much training, way too bloated of a workforce. Don't need to, don't need to do most of these things. Okay, it's cutting into this their bottom line. It's cutting into their profits. Uh, disrespectful. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in this building. Oh, wow, look at this place. There's two Shinkansen's right there. And I think that's the newer one. Let's go find out. Hi, do you know anything about this train? Perfect, but first, how long have you had this job? And what were you doing before this? Okay, so what's the latest features on this Shinkansen? Oh yeah, I can see the bottom cushion lowering as a seat recline. So the N700S is the newest model Tokaido Shinkansen launched in 2020. It's the upgraded version of the N700A, so it looks similar to the previous model but with additional features to enhance passengers comfort and experience. For example, the digital screen is one and a half times larger which helps display more passenger information. Also, the passenger compartment lights up overhead just before arrivals to help remind passengers to take their bags. In the green car, which is their business class case, the seats are installed with a fully active vibration suppression system for a more comfortable ride. Reading lights are 70% wider and just like the economy seats, Bro, I'm not going to fit into anything in Japan. Like literally, I'm just not. There is no way I fit into a single fucking thing in Japan straight up. Big boys not allowed, like straight up an entire nation created around the, the notion of saying fuck big boys, you know? to enhance passengers' comfort and experience. For example, the digital screen is one and a half times larger, which helps display more passenger information. Also, the passenger compartment lights up overhead just before arrivals to help remind passengers to take their bags. In the green car, which is their business class carriage, the seats are installed with a fully active vibration suppression system for a more comfortable ride. Reading lights are 70% wider, and just like the economy seats, the bottom cushion lowers as the back seat reclines. Anyway, the list goes on. At at the end of the day, it's just an overall better experience. It looks like these guys are about to start cleaning the train. Wow, this is some serious washing going on. 
Apparently, one Shinkansen travels at more than 3,000 kilometers a day at speeds more than 300 kilometers per hour, about 186 miles per hour through all weather imaginable. So it's no surprise that it picks up a bug or two on its windshield along the way, which ultimately requires a team of skilled washers to thoroughly and regularly clean the Look train. at how well they're cleaning that this bad boy. This is pretty cool seeing them wash the Shinkansen. So what's good? So how often do you do this? I see. In this section alone, what gets the dirtiest? Oh, these guys are washing the lead car. Apparently, the lead car requires the most attention since it gets the dirtiest during travel, especially at night as the bugs are drawn to the headlights. Rather quite a difficult removal process which requires a deep clean each and every time. Dude, this is like... I can't be alone in this, right? Like, this is kind of sexual. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be or not, but I'm feeling sexy watching this, okay? I mean, this is like, how does it not get you going, dude? How do you not feel this in your loins when you fucking watch this beautiful machine, this behemoth that transports thousands of people every fucking day? So clean. Oh. Damn, that's a long brush. I guess it's a must when working with these massive trains. And of course, they also- Bro, it's like already clean. You know what I mean? They're cleaning it, but it's like already clean. This is literally the cleanest train in America before they cleaned it. There is not a single fucking train car that is this clean in the United States of America right now. I've never seen this shit, dude. I've never seen anything like this. I get jealous and frustrated. I mean, I do too, a little bit. Pretty fucked up when you think about it. I have to watch the undercarriage. In the 50-year history of the Shinkansen, not a single onboard fatality due to collisions or derailments. Stomp. So hot. God damn, dude. Perfect. Now the Shinkansen is ready for its photo shoot. I mean, if it were to take a photo shoot, it's ready. That said, let's see what else we can explore. Like, if I was a Mr. B style content creator, I'd, like, fly a bunch of these guys to America to inspect and try to clean, like, uh, just the average New York City train car. You know what I mean? They would probably die. So then I'd have to also pay for their funerals and stuff because, like, they would literally have a seizure and fucking have an aneurysm from seeing how awful the system is. They would just be like, no, 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 this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, so here the workers need to drain the train's toilet tanks and refill the clean tanks with water for washing hands at the sink and flushing toilets. In total, about 4,000 liters of water is used for one train. And all of these tasks happening behind the scenes by dedicated workers to ensure that passengers have the most comfortable ride possible. Imagine a PR you would get for killing 100 Japanese train engineers. Yeah, that's right. That's true. That would get destroyed. Oh yeah, and since the Shikansen is 400 meters, about 437 yards long, the workers regularly ride bikes to perform their tasks. Now it's time for the interior cleaners to get to work. Like, what are they cleaning? Like, I'm looking at the train and it's like, what are you guys cleaning? It seems so clean already. I've never seen anything like this. I would lick the crust off of that fucking ground, dude. I don't even give a shit. Each cleaner is assigned to one carriage, completely cleaning it in about 30 to Like, 40. I feel like those were placed so they could at least... Look, they literally... <laughs> those are, like, suspiciously placed right there. They planted garbage. Like, this doesn't even make sense. What the fuck is that? They 100% planted that, bro. I 
one carriage, completely cleaning it in about 30 to 40 minutes. And I don't know about you, but for some reason, watching the entire train get cleaned is so soothing. It is. It fucking is, Paolo. Oh wow, they're using a specialized brush with integrated moisture detection. It allows the cleaners to quickly check if anything has spilled on the seats. In fact, three out of the 13 tools used by the cleaners were actually invented by them, including this one. So, what's the hardest place to clean? Oh my god, train? stop! Dude, it's yet another fucking instance where, yet another instance where the workers know better than the fucking management. See? People always literally, people always fucking act like uh, workers don't know shit. They're cleaning all the salarymen tears. Yeah, if you killed that many Japanese, I'm pretty sure you'd sink below Logan Paul and no one's done that before. Yeah, maybe I'd have his career. Yeah, they're going to be after cleaning my, <laughs> they're going to have to clean my moisture off the fucking planes after the trains after I'm done with this. <laughs> Ah, and how do you clean spills on the seats? By the way, what's the most interesting lost and found item you've ever come across? Huh. ないんです。落とし物って携帯とかメガネとかタオルとかそういうものしかこっちには入ってこなくて、ちょっとびっくりなものっていうのは多分東京駅の方だったらあると思うんですけど、こっちは基地なので珍しいものっていうのはそんな